So today we are heading to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Tokyo. Um, this is one of the largest Starbucks you can find. They only have these roastery ones at certain locations worldwide, and Japan is one of them. They actually opened, um, what was it, like in 2019? I or? think it was, yeah. Yeah, 2019. 2019 is when they opened. And we tried to get in then, but the wait was over three hours. <laughs> they had just opened. Yeah. Um, and they opened at peak cherry blossom season. Yeah. And they are located right along the famous Naka Meguro uh, River. Yeah, it's Meguro River is what it's um, called. Oh, yeah, sorry, the station is Naka Meguro. Yeah. But this whole stretch of just the river is just all cherry blossom mm -hmm. trees. So Super the view pretty. is incredible if you go to the Starbucks and you can enjoy the views. Anyways, we're, we're not actually here right now during cherry blossom season. We, we just missed we it, just actually. Missed it. Um, so it's really like nice and like calm right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Way different vibe. Way different vibe from when we came years ago during yeah. cherry blossom season. So they open at seven and you know, we've read that it's still pretty popular, so it gets busy. So to come, you know, during opening time, which is seven o'clock, it's 7.30 right now. Hoping like there won't be like much of a wait time or anything. It is a weekday. It's what, it's Thursday today. Fun tidbit about this uh, building that Crystal found out. What was his name? Ken the, Gokuma. He's the architect of this building. Yeah, yeah, he's the architect of the building. And I just found out, cause I was like, Ken Gokuma, that sounds familiar. It's the same guy that designed the Sunny Hills uh, Cafe that we went to. It has like those cool wooden cross um, beams. Beams. Like. <laughs> but it, like it was a really great design. So that's why we wanted to stop by there. And I, I love architecture like that. So I was like amazed that the same architect designed this Starbucks roastery too. So I was pretty excited. Yeah. Okay, so we ordered our first pastries. Uh, we went crazy and got four different things because we want to try everything. Um, this is what, strawberry rhubarb? Yeah. Okay. And then this is the almond croissant. And then I got a couple things, which is coming a little later because I got the Oleato uh, coffee, which is like the special coffee they have right now. Uh, where they put olive oil in it. Yeah, they just launched it in the States, I think, last month. It's yeah. It's like a new item. It's like a new thing. Yeah, it's a new thing. And it has oat milk in it. And when it has oat milk, you have to hand this receipt to them when they buzz you. So this is your buzzer. They said it's going to take 10 minutes for this drink. So super excited. It's ringing crystals ready. ありがとうございます。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
All right, so we got all our stuff. So downstairs is where you get the coffee and the pastries, and then up here, second floor, Kenny got her tea. So they have all different kinds of tea. We probably got like one of the most expensive ones. They were all pretty expensive yeah. though. When I was going down the list, I don't think I saw anything under six dollars or seven dollars yeah. or yen like it was it's pretty pricey like a thousand yen yeah because mine here because they have a menu online that you can look at and my drink oops it was called the rose raspberry and lychee tea that was 1100 the next one was 1100 1050 10. they're all like about ten dollars a drink or, or, or more yeah. so. i'm pretty sure mine was about 1100 yen too the all the auto but they do take their time making it it's yeah. like i mean hers i mean mine took 10 minutes so mine was faster it's probably like i don't know a few minutes this one was probably like average time yeah. but it's also not as busy up here mm -hmm. i feel like it's more popular coffee's coffee. more popular yeah okay i'm gonna Taste my oleato, olive oil, to coffee me, with oat milk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, olive oil and coffee just sounds gross to me. <laughs> but you never know. Oh, it's actually really good. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I like it. Now I kind of want to try it. Try it. It kind of okay. has like this nutty flavor to well, it. Well, that's too. the oat milk. Yeah. I'm sure that's like the oat milk, but there's still like. Lots of good flavors to it. Wow. I, right? Yeah, I like that. It's actually really good. It's really good. Okay. I need to stop with my my haterade. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, it tastes more really of the oat milk, but I, I, I do like, I can get a hint, a of, hint the of olive it. oil. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's not like overpowering or anything. Mm -hmm. That's what I was expecting, like it being overpowering. Mm -hmm. And since this is like a new thing with Starbucks, I mean, we walked in, like they're advertising it like crazy. Like yeah. the entrance is all displayed. They have a like, huge sign yeah. that says all the auto before you walk yeah, in. Yeah, so. Um, and they even have, they give you this so you can look over the different all the autos you can get. It says it's the new coffee ritual, is what it says. Okay, so I'm gonna try mine. Yeah. Tea. I wish there was a straw. <laughs> There's so much ice in this. I don't think they do straws anymore. Yeah, candy. I know. Mm, it's an interesting flavor. It looks really good, actually. I love to try this. Go to the other end. I like it. I like the little rose. They have a mini rose. rose in there. <laughs> Ooh, that's stronger than I thought, actually. Very. But it's good. It's a nice, refreshing drink. Yeah. Great for summer, I think. Is this a real flower? I think it is. Oh my gosh. It's a real rose. A mini rose. Okay. All right. So now we're going to dig in to our pastry. After we took a million pictures, we still have to take a lot more. We still have two more floors to go we're up. We're only on the second floor. We're Actually, on the second. And then when we leave, I want to go by the store yes. and get some limited edition. Only you can buy it at Starbucks Reserve stuff, Only so. here. Yeah. Only here can you get this stuff. <laughs> so we got a bunch of pastries. Okay. So this one right here, this, it looks really cute. So I wanted to try it. Um, might not like it, but it's the... Uh, which one was this? I think it's the first one, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, Capola Fragola. And it has, it's white chocolate with strawberry powder and rum. All right, and then the next thing I got was the pistachio uh, cream with almond slices on top. It's a croissant. I got the croissant with like almonds, just sprinkled on top. It's very fresh. I can tell it's very flaky already. And then this is not something I would normally try, but I was like, okay, maybe I'll just try something a little bit different. This looks a little bit sweet too. It's a croissant um, with strawberry rhubarb sauce. So I think they like put it in the inside that you can kind of see it oozing out, but that's more like dessert, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's what we got. Um, I'm ready to dig in. Now we're gonna dig in. <laughs> All right, because we ordered so many pastries, we obviously couldn't finish all of it. So I went downstairs, I'm just gonna grab like a bag and they're like, oh, we'll, we'll take care of it. And they, they wrapped it all nice, like individually, put it in a bag, added more napkins and everything. This is incredible. <laughs> wow. Such great service. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so we cleared one. And we're on two right now, so we're going to three. 
thought we were going to skip three. Well, actually, you can get drinks there. It's not okay. just cocktails. It's like the real cool stuff, I think. Oh, all right. So we'll get our coffee on the third floor, or I will, and then there's a terrace on the fourth floor. So we'll enjoy our yeah, coffee up there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. I might, yeah, I might get another drink, because I think I'm going to spend like $100 here. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oof. All right, another little bar. What does that say? Oh, it says Tokyo. Oh, you can enjoy a terrace view out here, too, on the third floor. Okay, so now we've made it to the third floor. And this is the cocktails. And uh, they do make it with coffee, which is interesting. So they have like traditional ones, like espresso martinis, which is like super popular and trendy lately. And I had it for the first time not too long ago. And it was really delicious. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this one because I got, what was it called? It's called to, like, the Citrus Coffee Moni. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's what it was. So Maybe. Citrus Coffee Moni yes. it has, um, so it's cold brew coffee with citrus, lavender, sage, house-made lemon orange syrup, tonic water, lemon, orange, lime, and an edible, edible flower. flower. So it was the edible flower that got me. <laughs> like, the picture looks so pretty. I wasn't sure what I was gonna feel about this, but I actually like yeah, it. Yeah, I it's haven't tried good. it Kenny yet. Hasn't tried so. it, so it's gonna be her first time. It looks delicious. It looks really refreshing, like a summer type drink. Yeah, it's interesting. So you taste like the citrus and sweet flavors first, and then the coffee is like the aftertaste of it. Oh yeah. yeah, like the coffee comes a little bit. I really like this. Yeah, this it's is actually delicious. pretty good. I don't want really, this has alcohol in it? Supposedly, I don't know. Wait, no wait. It doesn't, I think it does. because does. when I look at the. So it's a, it's a non-alcoholic drink, basically. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Cause yeah. I actually didn't want any alcohol right now. Yeah. Um, this is perfect. Yeah. So they have really great non-alcoholic cocktails here. This is the third floor. After this, actually, we can go now. Yeah, we can go upstairs and enjoy the terrace enjoy and the, see what's up there. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy a drink up on the terrace. I love my little tray. It's so cute. I want to take it home with me. I want several of these at my home. Okay. So it's the Amu Inspiration Lounge. I've had this tray for like the past hour. <laughs> Uh, yes, I already I already saw some like tumblers over there, so I'm like, okay, but oh, there's some over there. I'm like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna look? I don't know. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right yeah. now, so um, lots of good stuff. I love their mugs. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But I don't know. I feel like it'll break on the way home. Is that glass? I feel like it kind of feels like ceramic a little bit. Oh, okay. But I don't know. But. And it's microwavable. It's microwave safe. Okay, so we're coming to an end uh, at our Starbucks visit. Yeah, what time is it? It's um, 9.55 right now. I really enjoyed my time here. Yeah, I really enjoyed the experience here. Um, it's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be, so that was great. It's probably yes. because we did come um, a little after it opened. Uh, there was barely anybody here when we first came, so you don't have to wait for a number or anything. You can just easily walk in. It's a weekday, non-holiday, so you know I think yeah. a lot of the locals stay at home too. Yeah, so it's and cherry, basically mostly yeah, like tourists. Yeah, tourists. And cherry blossom season's over. Um, Man, but I'm just thinking, like, if we were here during cherry blossom, all the trees, like, mm -hmm. it would just be such a gorgeous view. I mean, it's nice right now, but like, I just can't imagine just how beautiful it must be during cherry blossom season. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed all my drinks. Yeah. Uh, I challenged myself to have something different because I usually am like super simple. I get boring things like just drip coffee, 
but I did get that olive oil coffee and it was awesome. I liked I really it too. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm sure that if I try to order that in the States at a regular Starbucks, it's kind of probably not taste as good. <laughs> I mean, it did take them 10 minutes to make it here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was surprisingly delicious. Um, sorry, I was hating on it on first, but <laughs> stop drinking that hatery candy. And then this is like another challenge of mine. I usually don't get, you know, coffee with like, it's, it's not liquor, it's actually non-alcoholic, but they make it. A mocktail. Taste, yeah, it's a mm -hmm. mocktail. But it's actually really good when you combine coffee, dark, uh, the dark brew. Yeah, I just never imagined like a citrusy flavor pairing well with a coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. To me, it just they, I feel like they clash, but it doesn't. It's a really good combination. It's really good. Yeah. And they have actual alcoholic drinks and wine and all yep. that too, if you want to come here at night and have some drinks. And then what did you have? Yeah, the tea. So yeah. yeah, so the second floor, the tea, uh, man, they're pretty pricey. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. I was... A little bit, yeah, everything is pricey. But I thought maybe the tea would be a little bit cheaper. Uh, but I mean, I came here knowing like I'm gonna be spending some money. Um, but my drink was a raspberry uh, lychee, very strong lychee flavor, um, which I haven't had in a while. I enjoyed it, it was beautiful. Um, it was really refreshing. The only complaint though on the tea floor is the service there was pretty, um, Different from the other floors because all the other floors the customer service. They're so friendly They really want you to enjoy the entire experience on the second floor The lady just was silent like when I was trying to figure out what to order She was not helpful at all um, She was very unfriendly. Yes, and then I asked if something was sweet. She's like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay <laughs> Yeah, I think she yeah. was upset because she had to work on the team floor. But yeah, so every floor we enjoy so this is the top floor now We're enjoying the terrace view it's a little bit windy right now, yeah. so it's kind of chilly. There but. is an indoor section up here too. Yeah. But we just thought because we didn't check out the deck on the third floor, we would figure, you know, we would kind of check it out on the fourth floor. So overall, we really enjoyed it here. I'm glad we came. Yes. The food was excellent. Yes, the food, the pastries were really great. So yeah, I hope this uh, review of the Starbucks Wizard of Roastery in Tokyo helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.